Hi, my name is Chris, and this is my robotic snake. One of the main goals of the project was to have it be modular so it could be reconfigured easily. What you see here are four, six, and ten motor configurations for the snake. Let's start by dissecting the robot a little bit to figure out how it works. Since it is modular, you can put together any assortment of head, body, and tail segments to fit the mission at hand. The head is a really good place for visual sensors. This module has an ultrasonic sensor which would help the robot navigate obstacles when programmed autonomously. This module has a wireless camera which could send feedback to an operator who's running the robot manually. Other sensors you could put in the front would be a color sensor or an I squared C camera that can communicate directly to the microcontroller so that you can do onboard video processing. The body of the robot is made up of these segments. There's a motor module that has two motors held together by these custom aluminum brackets. Inside the cargo segment, which is the red part, there's the battery, which is this custom lithium ion pack made up of six cells. There's also an electrical circuit board that allows you to easily connect with one cable from segment to segment very quickly. Instead of a battery, you could put in an environmental sensor, such as temperature, humidity, or a chemical sensor to detect hazardous gases. The brain of this robot is actually located in the tail. That's where the microcontroller is along with several other features. Right here is a tilt sensor and that allows the square robot to detect which side it's on and adjust the motion algorithms based on its orientation. Right here is a wireless RC receiver which allows the robot to receive commands from the operator. There's also a charging plug, so you can charge all the batteries in the robot at the same time. This module has an embed microcontroller, which is ARM powered, and programmed using an online C compiler. This module has a parallax prop stick USB, which has multiple cogs and allows you to run multiple processes at the same time. Right, this is the six motor configuration. I'm just going to demonstrate a couple things. This is what I call the wave. It's basically a crawling motion. So it can crawl forward. And then crawl backwards. Also, for a short length, like six and eight motors. There's basically a turning, so it can turn left and right. Here's the snake climbing up a ramp. Here's the snake going over rough terrain. This is the snake outside crawling through a four inch drainage pipe. Alright, so here's the 10 segment robot to demonstrate a few things. This is crawling with the longer robot. You can also do a more snake-like slither. Another cool thing is to do what I call it wiggle, where it basically scrunches itself up. And lastly, there's a lookout function where you can basically tell most of it to curl up to wrap around something like a tree or a post. And at the front with the wireless camera, the front acts like a pan and tilt rig. So let's go try it on a tree. All right, so here's a snake in a tree doing this lookout thing. It's partly supported by the V-shaped branches, uh, but we can have it curl up tighter around the tree or loosen. And the front of the head 
functions sort of like a pan and tilt mechanism, so I can look down and up, side to side. If you want to look over to the left, you can look over there. Look up and down. This is the four segment configuration. It's too short to really do complex routines, but you can still tumble around. Make it lift itself like a bodybuilder. Thanks for watching the video about these snakes. Hope you enjoyed it.